stories this week. The University of the Free State celebrated World Mental Health Day on 10 October by releasing a draft mental health policy. Meanwhile, Student Association Next Chapter hosted an advocacy dialogue. Naledi reports. Society, people, we all think that the brain is a spiritual, magical place. Uh, our connection to God is in the brain, our emotions. And therefore, if there's something wrong uh, in the way you're feeling, then they relate it to to factors that aren't relevant, they don't understand. That is just a chemical thing. And therefore, and it comes from, from years and centuries past, where people who were feeling different than the other people were uh, even um, ostracized. That is why there's a stigma. But society is feeding the stigma by not giving um, credit to the research and to psychiatry as a, as a profession and to the therapists, the, the psychologists. Sexual misconduct was put in the spotlight by SRC Universal Access and social justice member Tammy Frey. Tsebiso sat down with Tammy to discuss the issue. Um, the workshop was started to draw awareness mainly to the newly implemented and released sexual harassment policy and then issues that also inform the policy. So these would be things like um, rape culture, misogyny, patriarchy, consent, sexual reproductive health. Um, but in light of recent events, actually, the promotional video for the, the workshop um, involved an SRC member assaulting an EC member. So it, it just speaks to the fact that the promotional material sort of in a way predicted what happened recently, um, speaks to the need for such a campaign and speaks to the need for campaigns like these that are recurrent. So we have to keep doing things like this. We have to keep ensuring that even though policies exist, they must be made to be implemented. They, they must be like a maximization of the implementation. And we need to hold leaders accountable, not only for the implementation, but also for upholding it. Because if you consider the person who was involved in, in, in the incident now, by virtue of his position as a leader within the structure, he is supposed to uphold the policy like the sexual harassment policy. So it's important to keep these conversations going, and it's important to analyze the policies that govern us, and it's important to hold people accountable. Second year LB student Apiwe Kakasi was stabbed and killed on the 30th of September. A memorial service was held on the 10th of October where family and friends shared their last respect. Damon has more on the story. It is indeed a sad day for all of us at the University of the Free State as we have gathered to pay our last respects to the late comrade Kakasi. Joining me today is a friend of his. Ma'am, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Kama Kina. I was a friend of Mr. Takasi. How would you describe your last moments with Mr. Takasi? Um, they were very funny because I was going back to Joburg on the 20th of September where he sent me a text saying, I thought Bagobile and took you at Joburg. Bagutengi say help bro. And then the guy that told you went to go on and voice for the boys and get profit as a sukako. And then they shipped you off to Dubai and you find your own rams that will take you to yet strips and stuff. You'll get married on the Liban. I'll never forget you, Apio. Those were your top stories this week. I am Siamu Manaji. And I'm Tobe Bonorila. This was Kofi TV News. Your campus trip.